course, the Tesla's instructions are that you must maintain hands on the wheel at all sure, times. Sure. For the purposes of demonstration, of course, you can get away with not having your hands on the wheel, but you have to just be ready to take control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what you can see over here, because there's a graphic of your car there, yeah. the lane that you're in, yeah. the two blue lines are showing that that's the data it's locked onto. Right, okay. And the grey lines at either side yeah. are showing that it's aware that there are, there are other lanes. Okay. It can change lanes for you, yeah. but it can't check to see if it's safe to change lanes. Right, okay. So, you... so if you wanted to move to the lane to the right, yeah. as long as it's safe to do so, yeah. you can switch on the indicator to the right, yeah. and give the steering wheel just a gentle nudge to the right, very gentle, and that's it. Okay. It will now change lane, and then if you switch off the indicator, it will just hold this lane from here on. So it's aware of the vehicle in front, it will yep. adjust the speed up to the maximum set speed. Yep. We currently have it matched to the speed limit. When you sure. engage autopilot, it matches the speed limit. Yep. You can deviate from that. Okay. You can go down or up okay. by adjusting the speed using this. So yeah, a okay. gentle click upwards or downwards okay. is one mile per hour, a firm one is five. Okay. Um, autopilot has a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour. Okay. Which should be enough. It should be enough, yeah. Because you've touched the brake, you hear that sound, yeah. everything's deactivated. Yeah. And you'll see in there you've got the speedometer and the steering wheel showing there in grey, yeah. which is just showing you that both of them are switched off. Okay. 